Thanks for the introduction. Uh, so my name is Jin Ju Wang. I'm from Luxembourg University, and uh, I'm going to talk about uh, improved dividend property based the cube attack, exploring uh, algebra properties uh, of the superbody. So this is joint work with Yunlin, uh, Yosko, Chowin, uh, Taiko Nero, and uh, Willy. So let's first uh, give some introductions about uh, cube attack and uh, stream cipher. So then uh, I will recall the idea of the uh, total it at all to, uh, crypto uh, 17's paper, and uh, we will point out some uh, uh, limitations uh, who, where uh, which motivated us to do further uh, improvements to the cube attack. And then uh, we give our pro approach to solve these problems and then we applied our uh, method to some stream ciphers and give some improved results and then in, in the end I will conclude my talk. Okay, so um, why stream, stream ciphers? So uh, as one of uh, the symmetric key uh, primitives, stream ciphers are still widely used. For example, it's uh, um, for IC4 and the cha cha is uh, used in uh, fast uh, in software applications where um, the higher um, higher put is required. And uh, for uh, green and trim is designed uh, uh, is particularly suitable for the uh, hardware uh, applications. And these days, some uh, um, ciphers with uh, low multiplications, so for example, Trivium, Crivium, Flip, and Rasta, uh, play a very good uh, role in these uh, um, homomorphic uh, encryptions. Uh, Rasta uh, is another um, paper accepted by crypto, will be talked on Wednesday morning, I guess. So, um, the last uh, um, applications for stream cipher is that it can also be used uh, for uh, Application authenticated encryptions, and the uh, Acron is one of the uh, semi finalists of the Caesar competitions, which we will also look at in this paper. So, how stream ciphers looks like? Um, normally, this uh, the initialized state as zero is loaded with the n bit n bit um, secret k um, secret variables we call it k, and uh, n bit public variables we call it. Uh, uh, IV and uh, the state as zero is updated by this uh, uh, update function um, uh, for R round until uh, only the first bit of the K stream is updated, uh, is outputted. And we can represent this output as uh, Boolean functions of uh, this secret key X and the uh, public key, uh, public variables V. So uh, the next I will explain a, a little bit about the cube uh, uh, Attack. Cube attack was proposed by uh, Dinoche and Shamil in, in 2009, Eurocrypt. And this uh, attack is very powerful for uh, stream ciphers, especially uh, when the updated uh, function is uh, re is very low. Right? And um, these days, the cube attacks and experience has already been to some other ciphers, for example, uh, hash functions, Kichuk and also authenticated encryptions, so, uh, uh, Acron, um, and the KG, SR, et cetera. And how this uh, uh, attack looks like, uh, works. So uh, you choose, we choose uh, um, some bits uh, from the IV part, and uh, you, you tell, us, tell us all these values, all the rest, uh, which is now active record, uh, you just choose some arbitrary uh, constant. And uh, we, uh, we call this set of the, all the variables of VI, uh, we call it, uh, uh, we denote it as CI, and then we call it a cube. And the output uh, Z can be uniquely de decomposed as uh, TI multiple PI plus Q. Uh, here, Q has at least one term missing from this TI. And in this case, if we sum over this Z, then this term disappears, right? And there is only one. Um, possible here, all the values are one, then you get a P. And we call this P is a super poly of this uh, CI. So this PI is expected to be much simpler than the original uh, uh, FX, right? So if you, um, attackers can uh, an analyze this uh, um, PI and get some uh, secret information. But unfortunately, in real, we cannot decompose this F, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, sorry, like, uh, how does it look like? Uh, 
So what's, uh, uh, what this uh, traditional um, curve attack do is, uh, sorry, is, so the, just to choose randomly, uh, you, uh, they treat the uh, stream cipher as a black, black box, and they choose randomly um, some cube, and you sum, uh, you, you sum over, you do the um, linear test to see if the super poly is linear. If it is linear, then the secret information is recovered directly. This is very good. But the, uh, the not so good thing is that this is an experiment uh, result. You can only uh, do, try the cubes for size smaller than 40. So in uh, 2017, uh, Tudor et al, uh, they introduced uh, for the first time different property due th to this cube attack. And they, there, they analyze the NF of the superbully. And for the first time, they give some theoretical results where, uh, where they can try some very uh, large cubes. For example, for 832 round trim, they tried some cube of size 72. And they can also upbound the complexity to recover the NF of the superbully. So next, I will... Um, give more details about their work and uh, point out some limitations of their work. But I need uh, two uh, definitions first. So what is the dividend property and uh, dividend trails? So dividend property is produced, uh, uh, so is proposed in Eurocrypto 2017 by Trudeau. And um, if you give a multi-set x, x and uh, a, a vector, um, n bit vector, k, okay, and if we consider the uh, prop property, different property of this multi-set, how we do this, if we can find some k, and for all these uh, uh, vectors, which for each bit, if it is bigger than k, and the, uh, the parity of, the, of x to the u, if this is unknown, we see the uh, multi-set x has a different property d n k. And um, using this property, we can easily to define some different trials. So uh, for some ciphers, if the initial input uh, dividend property is, it is k0, and after some rounds, uh, the dividend property is dk, then we have a trail already. And if we take one uh, R round trail, if uh, for each of this uh, um, vector, it can propagate to the, uh, to the next one, then we call this is R round dividend property trail. And how can this dividend property trail be, you, uh, be evaluated for some cipher? So in, um, we, uh, we can uh, try to build this uh, cipher as a model um, and to describe the propagations of the, of the different property. And in 2016, Asia Crypto Xiang et al., they um, proposed a method to uh, represent this model as, uh, uh, as an MIP model. And uh, there may be some other method you can also use. Uh, how to do this? So you you, uh, we put all these uh, um, um, uh, elements of the trails to, to this M as a variable, and then we update, uh, we constraint this update function, use some, some linear constraint, and then we, uh, we ask the help from the, some uh, um, solver to verify if this uh, dividend trail, it is possible or not. If this uh, dividend trail, for example here, um, I, uh, this is a unit, unit vector with only the jth the bit it is, is non-zero. If uh, this trail is not feasible, we would see this jth uh, bit is not, is, it is balanced. So this why this can be used to um, find some uh, integral distinguishers or zero sum properties. And uh, how can this help us to evaluate uh, um, the uh, super poly, uh, evaluate the coefficient of the super poly of stream ciphers. So remember, here, um, we already took some cubes here, right? And now we wanted to check if the, uh, this uh, secret variable is involved or not in the final super poly. What we do is uh, we put uh, this as an initial trail and check if this different property it is uh, feasible or not. And uh, here, EG indicated by this is active, and this K indicated by this uh, uh, cube, uh, active cube uh, variables here. And if no different trails exist, then we will see that XG is not involved in the uh, uh, super poly. 
And uh, if we do this one by one, and we can, we can determine all the secret variables involved in this or not, and denote this as a set G, um, we um, uh, give a little, a little bit of overview of the attack. So the there are three stages of the attack. The first, they recovered the, um, the evaluated uh, phase. They, re they tried to um, determine so the secret K set G. And uh, in the second one, uh, this phase is, is, it is feasible. It can be uh, solved by some uh, MIP uh, solver. For example, we use Groovy to do this. And uh, um, offline fees they do, they try to sum over the um, output over this uh, cube to get to, to recover the whole truth table there um, to get the super poly PI. And uh, this phase is not uh, practical, but they already give um, upper bound of this uh, time complexity as a two to the i uh, plus j because they re recover the whole uh, truth table. So the memory is two to the j. And the last phase is online phase. In this phase, they just uh, um, uh, get access to the random oracle and uh, calculate the exact value of the super poly, over, uh, uh, super poly value and then compare with the stored uh, table in the, sec in the second phase and to get the uh, correct uh, uh, candidates of the key. So the time compl complexity of this uh, stage is two to the i. And uh, we see there are some problems of, um, left of, for us to solve in this uh, work. Why we would see this? So uh, remember that if the superpoly it is constant, actually we cannot get any secret information from this superpoly, right? So, but uh, from their uh, method, they cannot guarantee that this, uh, uh, the results, uh, result in the super poly, it is constant or not. So, what they do is uh, for smaller, if this uh, cube or this uh, um, number of, uh, number of uh, secret uh, variables is not so big, they can use some uh, practical uh, experiment to really find the specific IV to make sure that this P, it is constant, or uh, it is not constant then they can use to re recover the uh, secret key. But for the bigger values, especially when this uh, are very close to the key size, then the correctness of the assumptions cannot be guaranteed, right? So uh, what we do is we use some flag technique in this paper to determine a proper IV to make sure that uh, the uh, super poly we found it's, it, it, it is a non-constant, so this can be used. The next limitation of their work is uh, uh, in the second phase of their uh, attack, they try to recover the whole truth table. Then it means that the complexity of this phase is bounded by two to the i minus uh, plus g. So uh, this value, uh, usually, if you try some very big uh, cube size and for some very big number of rounds, this value can be very big, yeah? So this might uh, uh, seed the adversary uh, to apply larger cubes or even not, not bigger number of rounds. Eh? So what we do in this work is uh, we try to um, avoid, uh, recover uh, the whole, uh, whole, whole uh, truth table in the second phase and we will give some uh, techniques to, to do, uh, to find more information about, about the NF of the super poly. So what we propose is degree evaluation and term enumeration tactic. So what is this uh, 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 flag technique? So uh, the mostly uh, used operations uh, in this uh, um, uh, tr uh, stream cipher it is co uh, copy and, and together. So assume that the inputs uh, of this operation is x1 and x2, and the output is, is copy first and then uh, and operation. So the Deverian property of this operation, it goes to, this is a Deverian uh, property value, goes to y1, y2, and a. So uh, this, might, there, this is a uh, might possible, I mean possible output uh, different property, uh, difference, but we will know that 
in some case, if S0 is just, a, S2 is just zero, then we would know the end uh, operation of this is also zero. So the divergent property should be also zero. But the previous model cannot, uh, 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 cannot uh, eliminate this, uh, this wrong uh, uh, divergent propagation, right? So it means that we have to modify the model to make uh, um, the, the not possible trails be there, right? We should elim eliminate all the wrong um, divergent trails. Uh, yes. It means that for each variables here, uh, so if it is uh, as before, it's just determined it is uh, constant or it is uh, uh, non constant, it is not enough. So we, for each variable, we have to give uh, some flag value. Uh, it can be constant uh, zero, uh, it can also can be uh, one, one constant or it can be variables. So um, before we use this flag technique to uh, really um, uh, mod model oper operations, we have to define the rows of these flags first. So naturally we can define the equal, the equal uh, operations, uh, operations and we can also de uh, de define so for XOR, you can see uh, for constant one, after the XOR, it is constant zero. And for constant zero, uh, XOR, this variable, it goes to variable. Um, if you XOR this uh, um, delta with this, uh, this uh, X for any of them, it goes to delta. So we can similarly do this for end operation. So now if we have this value, we can uh, use this flag technique to, um, to model the operations here. Here I just give example for this end operation. So we, we define some uh, flag, flag value, and if, if the flag value of B it is zero constant, then B is zero. Using this, we can model the operations. Also similar, we can do this for the other operations XOR and the equal operations, et cetera. So what's, what, uh, how this um, flag technique can be used uh, to determine the uh, non-constant superbole and the secret key set G. So first uh, we, we choose the um, cube index I and uh, we, uh, as before, you just give the um, uh, uh, constant value or not or, or variables, but just set the uh, flag values here. So for this secret variable, set the um, flag value as uh, um, variable delta, and for this cube, cube variables, you put the flag value as delta, and the non, for the non-cube uh, variables, so for the first step, what we did is we, we also put this as delta to determine that if this superpower is, const is constant or not. If, uh, and then for the rest, you just update, uh, represent these uh, operations by this model and solve um, to return this uh, set G as before. So if uh, this can be, uh, be solved and return, uh, returned by some set G, we would see that uh, in, this, uh, in this choice of, a super, of a cube, we can see the super poly, it is non-constant and can be used. And uh, for how to uh, determine the exact uh, uh, constant value, what we do, we know that uh, the po all the possible values are to the uh, I minus, uh, N minus I possible. So you just uh, choose some, some uh, arbitrary one and to check if this uh, result strategy is equal uh, with the, the previous uh, um, step. If you find one, then you just uh, can uh, give a specific IV to make your uh, probably non-constant. What you do is just uh, try some specific one. If this value is one, you just put it one C. If it is zero, then just put it zero C. Um, also, we can uh, give a degree evaluation of the super poly. So what, uh, what we do is we check uh, so here, I, I check uh, this should be um, uh, some kind of term here indicated by key, key gamma. And we try this trail. 
to check if it is exist or not. If this one is, is not exist, we would say this term is not involved in the superbole. And if for all, all gamma of degree of size d, d plus one, if we evaluate all the differential and uh, say there is no differential, we would say the degree of this superbole is upper bounded by d, right? Because all the d plus one uh, terms are not possible to be involved, then we would see the degrees upper bounded by d, right? And uh, I, I don't uh, go through with uh, um, how you can represent this uh, uh, with our, our uh, MIP model. I just mentioned that we put the objective function here as the maximum of the sum of XR, XR if this MI is feasible, and we would see the degree is d. So by this, we can get the upper bound of the uh, superpoly as degree d. So the attack strategy uh, uh, are very similar as before. So for the first stage, the difference is uh, um, we, we, do, we use the uh, te flag technique to determine the specific IV to make uh, sure this superpoly is non constant And we also um, evaluate the upper bounded of the degree d uh, of the superpoly. This is the difference as before, uh, with before. And in the second uh, uh, stage, we know that uh, the upper bound of the degree of the superpoly is, is, is d, then there are at most uh, uh, this number of non-zero coefficients, right? So we just need to um, compute and sum these curves uh, and store all the solutions for later use. And uh, the time, time complexity is reduced uh, uh, to this value from uh, uh, the original paper. And the memory complexity, it is also reduced from the previous one. We are out of time, so please wrap up. Oh, sorry. Um, the last stage is uh, also uh, kind of similar as before. So uh, I just uh, give uh, some uh, numbers here then. So uh, we also do the third uh, uh, improvements uh, to do the term in e e e enumeration. Uh, since we already know what kind of uh, secret variables is involved in this poly and what is the number of, uh, uh, what is the upper bound of a degree, then we can find uh, what is uh, all the possible terms there, right? We do all the e evaluation uh, enumerations and we can find the set GT or with the degree T. Uh, so in this way, we can uh, upper bounded our uh, uh, complexity in the second uh, phase as this. It should be, normally it should be smaller than this uh, degree evaluation um, uh, method. Our complications, we, we uh, I just uh, um, give an example of this trivium. So we know this is a uh, trivium is the mostly uh, analyzed uh, stream cipher, and what we we what we do is uh, first we do smaller examples to verify our degree here. Um, uh, so uh, means that by using our technique, we can find a specific uh, IV to get uh, the degree, and of course we also get the G and the G G G two G three. Right, like here. So the complexity is upper bounded by this value. And also we tried some bigger cubes to get more rounds of this uh, uh, of a trivium. And we try some uh, cube size uh, like uh, 73 and 78 so we can, uh, so we can get uh, uh, two to the uh, 832, 33 and 839 rounds. And the degree here means that using the degree evaluation method to upper bound the complexity and use term enumeration to get this values. There should be some uh, little bit improvement here. And also we try some other ciphers, Trivium, Green, and Ekron, and you can see the um, improvement compared to the previous one. Okay, the conclusion is that uh, different property-based cube attack is very uh, efficient to do the key recovery for the stream ciphers. And the second is that we can really uh, get the upper bound of the uh, superpoly and we can really get uh, the, uh, all the terms of the, um, of the superpoly. And um, 
future works is uh, try to find some other targets to try in our method and uh, um, maybe further modify our model to get uh, uh, accurate degree or accurate uh, uh, in term enum enumeration. And the third is try to get some links between this De Bruyne property or to the other cubitacle variants. Yeah, thanks. Okay, we have no time for questions, so please thank the speaker.